I Want Answers is made possible by the Grand River Dam Authority, the Gerald H. Westby Jr. Foundation, RCB Bank, Rogers State University, the Tulsa Port of Catoosa, Kelvion Incorporated, Advanced Research Chemicals, Bank of Commerce in Shoto, and the generous support of viewers like you. The Riverfield Ravens and the Stigler Panthers are here to face off in another exciting competition here on I Want Answers. Hello everyone and welcome to Oklahoma's favorite academic game show, I Want Answers, presented by GRDA. I'm your host, Anna Berry. Now tonight's teams are two returning teams, the Riverfield Ravens and the Stigler Panthers. Now remember, these teams are competing for a chance at $12,000 in scholarship money that will be awarded in the championship at the end of the season. So let's start off by meeting the players from Riverfield. We have team captain Adara Reed. Hi there. We have Brady Heinick, we have Alex Matazidi, and we have Tobin Anderson. Great, now let's meet our players from Stigler. We have team captain senior Miguel Farias, we have sophomore Devin Wilson, we have Canyon Dean, and Corbin Kimberling. Awesome, welcome, you guys, are you excited? Yeah, are you ready? Yeah! Well, I know you guys want some questions, but remember the show is about what I want, and I want some Answers. All right, let's start off with the speed round. Next up, it's the speed round. The speed round consists of individual answer questions worth 10 points each. The first team member to buzz in gets to answer. No conferring between team members is allowed in this round. All right, y'all ready? Get your buzzer hands ready. And here we go. What is the term for a period of 1,000 years? Riverfield? Millennia. Correct. In what style of art is the artist not concerned with depicting recognizable objects of the real world? Riverfield? Abstract. Correct. What type of symmetry do these creatures have? Hydra, corals, and sea urchins? Riverfield? Radial. Correct. What is the collective name for any disease caused by an inadequate intake of an essential nutrient in the diet? Stigler? Malnutrition. Correct. Photo question. Refer to the monitors. This famous building in Manhattan opened in what year? Riverfield? 1947. Incorrect. Stigler? 1919. Incorrect. 1931. People who have been jailed, often without trial, for criticizing or even privately opposing a government are what kind of prisoners? Riverfield? Political. Correct. Video question by Justin Alberti, GRDA Corporate Communications Director. Refer here. Who was the first ever Republican to be elected governor of Oklahoma? I want an answer. Anyone? Riverfield? George. Incorrect. Stigler? Yes? Mike. Incorrect. Good guess, guys. Henry Bellman. <laughs> what is the term for a substance that slows down or prevents a chemical reaction? Stigler? Buffer. Incorrect. Riverfield? A decelerant. Incorrect. Inhibitor. All right, here's a math question. You get extra time. Two gear wheels are in contact. One has 36 teeth and the other 24 teeth. How many times must the smaller wheel turn before the larger wheel makes a complete revolution? Stickler? One and a half. Correct, great job. In 1981, just a few hours after Jimmy Carter left office, 52 American hostages were released from what country? Riverfield? Iran! Correct. <laughs> Video question by Sheila Shook, Education Coordinator of the Tulsa Port of Catoosa. Refer to the... The Tulsa Port of Catoosa has two grain handling facilities benefiting Oklahoma and the surrounding states. Both of these facilities are operated by Gavilon Grain. What do farmers use to put the nutrients back into the soil after growing crops? 
Riverfield? Fertilizer. Correct. What mineral in cheese, leafy vegetables, and milk promotes blood clotting, helps nerves and muscles functions? Riverfield? Calcium. Correct. A person served by a vizier probably belongs to what religion? Riverfield? Islam. Correct. What philosophical movement of the Renaissance placed man in a central and key position in art? Stigler? Humanism. Correct. Photo question. Refer to the monitor. Name this mountain located on the border between China and Nepal. It is the highest mountain, Adara? Mount Everest. Correct. The celebration of Chinese New Year can occur in what two months of the Gregorian calendar? Adara, Riverfield? January or February. Correct. Okay, here's a math question. What are the two answers to the following? The sum of a number and five times its reciprocal equals six. Riverfield? One and five. Correct. All right. And up. Oh. Well, that bell means that time's up for the speed round. The score stands at Riverfield 110 and Stickler at 30, but we got time to level this out. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Every day, the employees of the Grand River Dam Authority strive for excellence by focusing on the five E's. Employees, electricity, environmental stewardship, economic development, and efficiency. We do this by producing low-cost, reliable electricity that touches 75 of the 77 counties in the state. At no cost to the taxpayers, we also manage 70,000 surface acres of lakes and the scenic Illinois River. Annually, the efforts of Team GRDA facilitate over $450 million in economic activity for Oklahoma. The Gerald H. Westby Jr. Foundation is a proud sponsor of I Want Answers on RSU Public TV. Throughout his life, Gerald Westby worked hard to add to the quality of life through his legacy of support for the arts, arts education, and culture. The Gerald H. Westby Jr. Foundation continues this work. Imagine a place strong enough to weather any storm, built on a foundation of trust and integrity. Imagine sowing a single seed that makes a forest grow. What if there's a bank like that where all your financial dreams can become reality? Well, that's my bank. That's RCB Bank. And welcome back to I Want Answers, presented by GRDA. Now, before we start our Advantage round, let's take a minute to get to know the Riverfield Ravens a little bit better. How you doing, Riverfield? Awesome. Feeling good? Now, you've been here before. Yes. Yeah, you too, and some haven't. So let's get to know you, starting with you, freshman Tobin Anderson. Now, you love Netflix. What's your favorite show on Netflix? Um, I would have to say BoJack Horseman. Ooh, I've not seen that. And video games? Uh, video games, my computer is not stellar, so I can run approximately two in the history of video games. So, <laughs> Borderlands, I'd say. What about Super Nintendo? Have you ever played that? Do you like old school Mario Brothers? Um, I, the closest to that I have is a DS, and I am a large Pokemon enthusiast, large Pokemon. I'd say. Okay, cool. How are you liking Riverfield? Uh, Riverfield is an incredible school. A uh, small student to teacher ratio really just lets us all get to know each other and the teachers. It's a wonderful experience being there. Neat. Thanks for saying that. All right, Alex Matazadi. Last name comes from where? Uh, from uh, from Iran. Awesome. So tell me about yourself. You like wiki wandering. What is yeah, that? That's where you just wander through, uh, wander through some sort of online encyclopedia. It comes from the the root wiki. Wikipedia. Comes from from Wikipedia. Yeah. I've done that. That's yeah. fun. All right. And so, tell me about the only logical conclusion that we should unify the Roman Empire. Where do you get that philosophy? 
the Roman Empire was just great. Our founding fathers based a lot of the principles of the United States on the Roman Republic. And, mm. uh, you know, I think the uh, now that we know some of the mistakes that the Roman Empire has made, uh, we, we should reestablish it and it would be great because the Roman Empire was beautiful. I, I love that the United States Congress has the fasces on either side of the speaker. Uh, the only problem I have with the Roman Republic is that the Tribune of the Plebs did not have enough power. Well, you are going to make a career probably in comedy, and if not, maybe politics. Maybe you combine the two. It seems like that's where we're headed anyway. Okay, welcome, Junior Brady Heinig. What's your last name? Where does that come from? Um, it comes from Germany. Ooh, cool. Have yeah. you been over there? I have not. Ah, okay. So you're varsity basketball, yeah. academics, yeah. and you play the ukulele. I do. How did you learn to play the ukulele? Um, I taught myself last summer. I yeah. just saw someone playing it. I've tried I was to like, do that. It's kind yeah. of fun. What's your song? Um... I don't know. I like playing I'm Yours by Jason Mraz. Cute. That's an easy song. So. Do you sing that to your girlfriend? Yeah, definitely not. Oh, I don't that's have a awesome. And I'm slots? Single. What's up with slots? Um, I don't know. They're just like, you just look at them and they're you just so cool. Them? Yeah, you just want to <laughs> hug them. They're okay. just so chill. Thanks. So now we have senior Adara Reed. It's a beautiful first name. Where does that come from? Um, I'm half Scottish, so it's from Scotland. Neat. Adara, does it mean something? Yeah, but don't ask. <laughs> do you like the movie Brave? I, I do. I love that movie. It's great. My daughter and I watch that. Okay, Student Council, Drumline, Academic Bowl, and um, you have some pets. I do. I have one pet. Her name is Penny, oh, and just she's one my pet. best friend. Oh, I misread this. You have some pets, and you have two brothers. I have two brothers, yes. <laughs> and one pet. Awesome. And so tell me about, you've lived in six different places in five countries. Yes, in six I years. have. What five countries? I've lived, well, I was born in Scotland. I lived in China. Indonesia, Dubai, uh, another place in Indonesia, Ghana, and the United States. What's your favorite? I get asked that, can't give you an answer. US? It's, it's up there. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, awesome, you guys are doing great. All right, so now it is time for the Advantage Round. Next up, the Advantage Round. In this round, the teams face off by first attempting to answer a speed question. The first team that answers correctly receives 10 points and the opportunity to answer three Advantage questions worth 10 points. After the three advantage questions, it's back to speed questions to determine who gets the next advantage question. The speed questions can be answered by anyone, but the answers for the advantage questions must come from the team captain. All right, are you ready? Get your buzzer hand ready, here we go. The U.S. Air Force bases are in what state? Laughlin Air Force Base, Goodfellow Air Force Base, Lackland Air Force Base, Randolph Air Force Base, Shepard Air Force Base. Riverfield? Florida. Incorrect. Stigler? Utah. Incorrect. Correct answer was Texas. Eight proprietors were granted a colony in the New World by Charles II in 1663. Later, that colony was divided into two royal colonies, the names of which are now used for what two states? Riverfield? Virginia. Incorrect. Stigler? North and South Carolina. Correct. Advantage for Stigler. All right. Art forms. This must be answered by team captain. What is the term for wide landscape pictures created to convey the sweep and grandeur of a natural setting? Still life. Incorrect. Panoramas. Oh, mm. Derived from the name of a Greek poet. Thesipus, a thespian, is involved, is involved what art form? Drama. Drama. Correct. What art form can be described as a kinetic sculpture in which balanced parts capable of motion are hung freely in space such that they never come into contact with each other? Suspension. Incorrect. Mobile. That's the name of the art. All right, we're back to speed. All right, what is the abbreviated Latin phrase that means temporarily or for the time being? Riverfield? Pro tempore. Correct. Advantage for Riverfield. Constitution. According to the First Amendment, Congress may make no law 
abridging the right of the people to peaceably assemble and to petition the government for a redress of what? Uh, grievances. Grievances. Correct. Complete this line from the Constitution. Congress shall have the power to coin money, regulate the value thereof, and of foreign coin, and fix the standard of weights and? Measures. Measures. Incorrect. Strict states' rights advocates reject what central clause in Article 6, the, con the U.S. Constitution? Uh, the one about interstate trade. Interstate trade? Incorrect. It was the supreme law of land, or the supremacy clause. Great job, though. All right. Back to speed. Radiation of extraterrestrial origin consisting chiefly of protons, alpha particles, and other atomic nuclei make up what kind of rays? Stigler? Gamma. Incorrect. Riverfield? Ultraviolet. Incorrect. Correct answer is cosmic rays. Okay, to demonstrate his independence from the church, who refused to be crowned emperor by Pope Pius VII in 1804? Riverfield? Henry VIII. Incorrect. Any answer? Napoleon Bonaparte. What conflict was the first armed confrontation of the Cold War? Riverfield? Korea. Correct. Advantage for Riverfield, category weapons. What revolutionary English weapon of the 14th century shot a projectile that could pierce armor at 100 yards or more? Longbow. Correct. The herbicide 245T was used by the US military to defoliate large areas in South Vietnam. By what name is this compound commonly known? Mustard gas. Mustard gas. Incorrect. Agent Orange. With regard to weapons in Iraq, what is an IED? Intercontinental explosive device. Incorrect, but close. Improvised explosive device. All right, back to speed. A candidate may make a number of brief appearances in several small communities during a campaign. What railroad phrase is synonymous with these appearances? Riverfield? Stumping. Incorrect. Stigler? Stationary. Incorrect. Whistle stops. Ah, and that's all the time we have for the advantage round. The score stands at 150 Riverfield and 50 Stigler. But we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. I Want Answers is made possible by the Tulsa Port of Catoosa, one of the largest, most inland river ports of the U.S. inland river system. Agricultural commodities, building materials, fuel, and machinery are shipped into and out of the Tulsa Port of Catoosa daily using a combination of barge, rail, and truck. To learn more about the Tulsa Port of Catoosa, visit their website at tulsaport.com. And also by Kelvion Incorporated, global experts in heat exchange, committed to providing quality products and services with honesty, integrity, and commitment to customers, employees, shareholders, and the global community. For more information about Kelvion, visit kelvion.com. And also by Advanced Research Chemicals, providing customer-focused solutions to basic and advanced chemical applications. ARC has a long history of giving back to our local and international communities. For more information, visit fluoridearc.com. I love coming into the lab every day. My job is to screen evidence for DNA analysis. When I started at Roger State University, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. But after I took my first chemistry class, I realized that I wanted to be in the lab. It does feel good to go to school and to find a direction and then wind up doing something that I enjoy. Not everyone can say that. It all started for me at Roger State University. I Want Answers is made possible by the Bank of Commerce in Shoto.
everyone, welcome back to I Want Answers presented by GRDA. Now before we start our whirlwind round, we're going to get to know the Stigler Panthers a little bit better and we had a scoring correction, Riverfield 160, Stigler 50. Alright, Stigler, let's get to know you a little bit better. We're going to start with you, Corbin. Corbin Kimberling, you're a sophomore, you love basketball, baseball and soccer. Do you, which one do you play of the three? I play all of them. You play all of them. Wow. Which one do you like the best? Soccer by a long shot. Soccer. Do you follow European soccer and international nope. soccer teams? Mostly, yeah, just here? No, I don't follow any soccer teams. I just enjoy any... playing it. No, you just play it. Cool. Okay, anime. What do you like to watch? You watch anime? Mm -hmm. I just watch a lot. I prefer action. One of my favorites is Kuroko's Basketball, which is what originally got me into basketball. Oh. My second favorite is also Haikyuu, but it's a volleyball one. Cool. Okay, so where are you thinking about you want to go to college? The University of Southern California for graphic designing. Awesome. Have you visited there before? Never been to the West Coast. It's beautiful. It's awesome. You'll really enjoy it. Well, thank you for being here. Now we have Junior Canyon Dean. All right, do you have a story of why, where your name came from, Canyon? I have honestly no idea. You know, okay. So band, mock trials, speech and drama. What's mock trials? Mock trials is basically a rehearsed, rehearsed court case. Cool. Kind of like speech and drama, but more. Very cool. neat. And do you want to continue that into your career? Would you um, like to do speech possibly. and drama? Possibly. And where would you like to go to school? Um, OU, and then I've also thought about FYU, FIU, FIU, which is Florida International University. That's neat. Now, it says that you like surfing. Where in Oklahoma do you surf? Um, we, my family takes a lot of vacations, and normally we go to, like, Mexico and sometimes Florida, but nowhere in Oklahoma. Wow. Surfing's amazing, right? Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Great. Thanks. Glad you're here. Okay, Devin Wilson, you're a sophomore. You are your class representative. <laughs> Is it a big deal? No. No? Not at all? Did you do anything fun to win? Nope. Nothing? Okay, now you like to, you like basketball, watching and playing. What position do you play? Uh, wing. Wing. Do you have a favorite team? Uh, the Warriors. Are you a Thunder fan? No. No? <laughs> Not at all. Where do you want to go to school when you graduate? Uh, Oklahoma or Kansas. Okay, and you have a fascination with maps. What, what about maps do you love? They're just interesting for me to study, I guess. Do you like old maps or new maps? Mainly ones that are like easier to read. Easier to read. Do you have maps in your room? No. No? <laughs> okay, so we have senior Miguel Ferias, and you, um, you've been in the academic team four years? Yes, every year. Every single year. Now you like to play cards. What? Poker? Gin Car rummy? <laughs> Poker, yes. Yeah. But they don't. They don't. They don't like me playing that in school for they some don't. reason. I don't know uh -oh. why. Oh. Well. <laughs> you know, probably gambling. What else do you like to play? Uh, cards wise. In life, basketball. In life. Uh, yeah, sports? I love to play basketball with friends. I'm not very good at it, but it's still fun. That's still that's that's what counts if you're having fun. Where do you want to go for college? Mm, there's a few, but I'm most likely going to go to OU. All right. Boomer sooner. All right, so now it is time for the whirlwind round. Next up, the whirlwind round. In this round, the trailing team gets to pick from one of three categories, and they get to choose whether they wish to answer the category's questions themselves or force the other team to answer. The team will have 60 seconds to answer as many questions as possible. Then the other team gets their turn at one of three remaining categories. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. If any team correctly answers all 10 of their questions within a minute, they will receive 10 bonus points. All right, well, Stigler, you are the trailing team, so you guys get to pick. Okay, so here are your three categories that you get to pick from. Camping glossary, life science, citizenship. Ping. Let's go camping. Life science. Oh, yeah. Life science. Life science. All right, here we go. Ready? Okay. What biome covers just 6% of Earth's surface but contains half of the world's species? Tropical rainforest. Tropical rainforest. Correct. Cheetahs, wildebeests, and giraffes are native to what grassland region? Savanna. Correct. Animals changing from one developmental stage to the next are undergoing what process? Metamorphosis. Correct. Unlike the grasshopper, the 17-year locust is really one of these winged insects noted for their loud buzzing. Cicadas. Correct. In the U.S., these insects are divided into three main groups, damp wood, dry wood, and subterranean. Ants. Incorrect. The ruby-throated hummingbird prefers to feed from flowers of what color? 
red. Correct. Gills are part of which body system in fish? Respiratory. Correct. The biceps and triceps muscles surround which arm bone? Humerus. Correct. Which dinosaur had horns on its tail and two rows of bony plates projecting from its back? Stegosaurus. Correct. The Arctic fox and the ptarmigan both turn what color in winter? White. Correct. Great job. Great job. OK. <sighs> I know, right? Take a breath. All right, Riverfield, it is your turn, and you guys get to pick between camping glossary, citizenship, and grammar. Camping. <laughs> Camping. All right. All right. Here we go. You ready? A blanket that can be zipped up to be used as a bed. Sleeping bag. Correct. A shelter consisting of material draped over a frame. Tent. Correct. The directional instrument that works in conjunction with Earth's Compass. magnetic field. Compass. Correct. A traditional camping treat made with marshmallows, chocolate, S'mores. and graham crackers. Correct. A flask used to carry drinking water. Canteen. Correct. A tool usually made of a metal blade and a long handle used to split and cut wood. Axe. Correct. These are metal or plastic pins used to anchor a tent. Stakes. Stakes. Correct. Also known as field glasses, this instrument is used to magnify and view things at a distance. Binoculars. Correct. A style of walking and exploring rugged terrain. Hiking. Correct. Small pieces of wood or sticks used to start a campfire. Kindling. Correct. All right. Great job. Huh. I know. All right. So after three rounds, the score stands at 270 Riverfield and 140 Stigler. Now we're going to go back to our speed questions. All right. Here we go. In May of 2015, the Liberian government announced that the country was free of what disease that killed over 4,800 people during the previous year? Riverfield? Ebola. Correct. An eight-year-old girl with a mental age of 12 has what IQ? Riverfield? 150. Correct. When Britain's King George VI died in 1952, he was succeeded by his daughter. Name her. Stigler? Victoria. Incorrect. Riverfield? Elizabeth. Correct. Who wrote this? I said to him, my dear Fortunato, you are luckily... Stigler? Montresor. Incorrect. Riverfield? Shakespeare. Incorrect. Edgar Allan Poe. Ah, and that bell concludes tonight's competition. The final score stands at 300 Riverfield and 140 Stigler. That means that you guys are our winners. Riverfield, congratulations. And you will um, advance to the next round of the competition. So we'll see you again in a few weeks. Thank you both so much for playing. You both did a really great job. Thank you, audience, so much for joining us as we showcase the knowledge of our local Green Country High School academic teams. Be sure to follow I Want Answers on Facebook and Instagram. And remember, you can catch up on past episodes anytime at rsu.tv. We'll see you next time for another exciting competition on I Want Answers.